Okay, let's take a look at the new CD lock constraint and I'll show you how to use it to set up a foot lock for a character. Um, I have a character here with an animated walk cycle set to repeat and I have him aligned to a spline. So he's walking around in a circle. Uh, but if you take a close look at his feet you see that they're slipping on the floor. So we'll set up a foot lock to prevent that. Um, I'll select the foot controllers, add a CD lock constraint. Uh, first thing to do is to disable the lock so we can set some keys. And we're going to key the lock blend slider. Um, I want to enable use current position. That way it'll lock to each step that he takes. And we'll lock X, Y, and Z. And we want uh, to lock all axes. That way when the lock is enabled his uh, feet won't rotate. Okay, now let's take a look at the left foot controller. Okay, the left foot from frame 0 to frame 15 is when he's picking his foot up and taking a step. So we want that section to be unlocked. But then from frame 15 to frame 30, that's where we want it to be locked. So what we're going to do is set up a blend to blend from a lock state to an unlock state. And then when we get to frame 15 we'll set up another blend but this one will work more like a switch to go from unlock to lock. Okay, So we'll start out with the blend set at 100%, set a key, then we'll move five frames forward, set the blend to zero and set another key, then move to frame 15 set another key at zero then we'll move one frame and set another key at a hundred okay with these two zero and a hundred being one frame apart this will act like a switch and then here we'll have a five frame blend so we'll just finish this off by copying the first key to the end of the loop, select the track and set it to repeat. Okay now the right foot controller is the opposite. Uh, from 0 to 15 is where we want it locked and we want to blend an unlock state between 15 and 30. So here we'll start out at 0, set a key, move one frame forward, move it to a hundred, set a key, and then at frame 15 we'll set another key at a hundred, and then move forward five frames and set a key at zero. And we'll just copy the first one to the last again, select the track and set it to repeat. So now we have all of our keys set let me just select the two lock constraints, enable the lock, and play the animation. You can see his feet are not slipping anymore. 